There's good grounds for the labour market to actually be very happy with this decision because it's giving us certainty and clarity. While the unions might be very, very comfortable in terms of how the court made its decision, I think equally so employers are also given much more certainty in terms of what the impact of the decision is. And I think effectively what we've seen the Constitutional Court rule on is exactly what were the objectives of those amendments, which is to give protection to workers who have been placed with a client who are working for longer than three months um, and to make sure that they are not caught between this relationship of the temporary employment service and the client. So those workers are now, the court has said, given the protection that they can go against either the client or they can go against the temporary employment service. So essentially this ruling doesn't mean that labour brokers are banned, does it? Absolutely not. So what the court reinforces is that they have a very legitimate role to play and what it does is that it ensures that the rights of the worker are clarified. But what is absolutely clear from the decision of the Constitutional Court is that labour brokers have a right to operate both in terms of the first three months of employment and beyond. But what happens beyond three months is that certain rights are given to the worker that weren't there previously. But does this mean that hiring labour now becomes more expensive for business? So what happens after three months in terms of the law, and that's not new as a result of the judgment, what happens after three months is that that employee that has been placed by the labour broker or temporary employment service now has the right to equal treatment with the employees of the client. So that might have a cost implication. That has been applicable since the 1st of April 2015 and employers have adjusted to that. The commercial contract remains unchanged. So between the client and the labour broker, the client pays the labour broker, the labour broker pays the employee if there's a continuous contract. So it's a triangular employment relationship and that's what the court really clearly reinforced is that that triangular employment relationship persists even though after three months if the employee earns under that threshold of earnings, the employer is deemed to be the client.